Okay, this is a fuel gauge sending unit from a 2012 Traverse. Um, I was constantly getting inaccurate fuel range, uh, fuel readings of the difference of maybe even a quarter tank when I was driving. A lot of other people had this problem. So I just went ahead and decided to change the fuel sending unit out. There is a recall, GM on, I think, 2013 and above about an ECM reprogram, but it didn't include mine. So I figured I had a bad sending unit. So anyway, I take the sender out of the car, and the new one doesn't look like this either. If you put the voltmeter on it or a resistance, it seems to change okay as the range of the fuel goes up and down. So I get, uh, you know, varying ohm readings. doesn't seem anything wrong with the sensor itself. So what I figured out was the problem here is this right here. As it doesn't spin freely on this post. So what's happening is, is what I think is, is when it's monitored into the tank or mounted into the tank like this, if that float is flat, it's going to read a lower fuel than if it is rotated on its edge, which could easily get stuck like that when it's in the tank. So this would actually give you a higher fuel rating than what is in the tank, which would explain why people are running out of gas. It would also account for an inaccurate reading when you fill it up all the way. The ECM programs fuel level based on gallons used and what was the last condition on the key cycle. There's an algorithm that it determines. So if it sees something inaccurate, I think it errors on the side of the negative. I might be totally wrong on this. But anyways, I believe this is the problem with these fuel gauges. This does not spin freely. So if you imagine the fuel level is here and it's the fuel goes down in the tank, it's going to register what it should. But if this is rotated 90 degrees, which could easily happen with the fuel <clears throat> sloshing back and forth, this arm is going to be slightly higher. So it's going to give you more fuel than what is in the tank. And that was one of my problems. So anyway, I changed it out with the part from Rock Auto. It was 60 bucks. This gauge actually looks different, and this spun freely. I wish I took a video before I did it, but I didn't. Anyways, hope that helps you guys out, and good luck.